Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we discussed scaling using the scikit-learn preprocessing module and focusing primarily on the standard scaler, but then also looking at min-max scaler and some of the other scalers that are built into the library. And one of the benefits of using scikit-learn is that they give you the option of building your own transformers, which is great when you can't quite find the tool you're looking for that fits the data set that you're currently analyzing. For instance, I oftentimes need to use a log transformer, which is not built into the scikit-learn modules. However, you can build your own using the functional transformer. Let me show you. So let's motivate this with a variable we're going to call xlog. Then we're going to use the np.random.logNormal method to generate some random numbers. And we mostly care about the size. Let's give ourselves enough data. And so we're going to have xlog which has 50 samples as a NumPy array. Now, this is not too exciting. Uh, let's quickly plot the histograms to track the, the progress we're making. So let's just plot X log. And we have a very classical log normal distribution where we have a lot of values on the low end and not so many on the high end. And this is very typical of measurement data, particularly mass spec data, Raman data. And so this is a very common transformer you can use to try to produce a more normal distribution. Now, I can overlay that simply by just running his plot again. And we know that we can adjust log normal distribution by just taking the log of the value. So we run MP log and just pass in x log we now have a much more normal distribution from which to do our data analysis with and so this is a very common transformer however if you want to build data pipelines or you're building some machine learning models where you need to be able to train on a data set using the fit and transform methods available in scikit-learn but then you want to test this on a, a separate data set using the transform. You can't apply something like this using NumPy in this way. And so this is where function transformer comes in, where you can actually build your own transformers, which will make it amenable to the fit transform motif available in scikit-learn and thus can be put into data pipelines and used responsibly without data leakage or other um, issues. So let me show you what that looks like. Let's make a new variable called transformer, transformer. And we set that equal to function transformer. And if we uh, look into this, you see that we could just pass in a function. In this case, that function we're gonna pass in is mp.log. And that's basically it. In this case, there are other things you can pass in such as an inverse function or keywords to, into those functions. Um, but in this case, mp.log does not take any keywords um, and now we have a transformer that works just like every other transformer as you see we now have access let me adjust this typo as you see we now have access to the rest of the methods typically observed in scikit-learn where we have fit transform and so let us fit transform X log and we get a different output array um, and thus let us close this out and so let's now make a new plot where we look at X transform so we'll take the other two plots we made uh, just to to illustrate those and then we'll make one more this plot and pass in X transform and you see that we now have two figures that are overlapped with each other because MP log X log it's the same, I can actually comment that out just so it's, it's more clear. And now this orange plot is now the, the X transformed plot. And so this gives us a lot of flexibility for machine learning and building our data pipelines as I mentioned earlier. If you like this video, subscribe. <laughs> if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.